has really struggled, not only in this tournament, but overall this year to knock down open threes. He's a guy, if you haven't seen him, they run a lot of offense through him, very comfortable at the high post. There is Rui Hachimura, a sophomore from Japan. A spectacular athlete, a guy who had just a bit role last year, a much larger role. Hachimura, as you mentioned, is a great athlete. And he's coming off the bench. He's one of the heirs apparent at Gonzaga, and they expect big things out of him. But Mark Few wants him to earn it, and he's going to have to earn it by coming off the bench and maturing into the... And just giving up some strength. Killian Tilly, a little bit too strong for him down on the block. Yeah, that's just a strength issue. Yeah. Perkins, a deep three. Have to find a bomb, but they'll reset. Well, that was a heck of a closeout by Matt Coleman. Hachimura for three. And Bamba down with a loop. Williams going. He's not scored yet in this game. Has a couple of turnovers. Tough shot there taken by Jones and a chance in transition now for the Zags. Kispert was wide open. Hachimura all the way back out to Perkins. Looked like the Zags could have had something a little bit easier. Perkins off the screen. That'll work. Well, that's too easy to be able to come off that and just waltz into a shot. Sitkowski the drive and the kick. Jones open for three. Texas not a good three point. And new ones come in. They've got a tremendous amount of confidence. Hachimura counted and a foul. The last six minutes of the first half. It is a 23 to nothing run for the Zags. Pulling away from Texas, scoring from beyond the arc, scoring in transition, scoring any which way they please. He wouldn't take take the credit. He would he would put it to Dan Munson, who he took over for when Munson went to Minnesota. Nice long pass from Melson to Hatchimora. That's how you get it done. This has moved the ball and move the defense. They've had much better uh, success in attacking it. Boy, and Gonzaga breaks the press again with ease, but Bamba strips the team that went all the way to the national championship game last year. Maybe that had something to do with the preseason of prognostications. Hachimura, man. Hachimura's got 10 already. Exactly who this guy is. Big time athlete that has been, I don't want to say waiting his turn, but it's been essentially that. And we mentioned before that Mark for the uh, Rui, just don't don't kill a spider around him. I think Jay, uh, Jay is most afraid of using the telestrator effectively at times. But other than that, I don't think you have any fears. If, if he's so afraid now, with Jakob Larson into the game for Gonzaga, redshirt freshman out of Denmark, 6'11", 230. Good ball movement and a corner three. Pretty offense there is Melson in the PK-80 coming into this game. And he's a guy whose role is changing this year. He's going from a, a glue guy to having to be a primetime performer. And Silas Melson is the best defense. Zaga after Texas led early 16 to 8. Bamba misses the long jumper. I... Look how the ball moves for Gonzaga. And then they get a shot that they want. Even that one was a little bit. <laughs> Hashtag sarcasm. Yeah. How, how, does it, how does Alabama go from number one to everybody saying they're out of it because they lost at Auburn? Hachimura having himself a day. He's up to 12 points, six rebounds. Right into a charge. I think that's the second charge that Melson has stepped in to take in this game. Again, the two-man game between Perkins and Hachimura. Roach elevates, can't finish. Hachimura the rebound of the Zags on the run. And another foul going against Texas. Let's take a look at some of the ball movement that you have from this Gonzaga team. Then into the ball screen, you've got side-to-side -side movement of the ball, and there's some misdirection. So the ball goes out of one ball screen into another on the other side. Not the Christmas pass that you'd want to see, but then they're able to hit the roll. Man, it's just easy basketball because the ball moves from side to side, and the defense moves. And a lot of good offense. It's not like they're going to they're gonna put you in a position where the defense makes a mistake and they take advantage of it. It, it was a long time ago now, but at one point, Texas had a 16-8 lead. And five assists. And could have played much better. Same play. And Hachimura stays with it, but misses the follow. Sims down. Comfortably in front, they're up by 15.
ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Lowe's. Hurry in today for huge savings on all things winter. Perkins having a big day for the Zags. Hachimura got his man in the air and finishes. I'm not sure Mark Few's going to sign off on this. He didn't seem overwhelmed by the idea when Jeff presented it to him. Well, he's a public figure. I don't think he has to yeah. sign off on it. Hachimura again. Rui and Fuey. So I think I would go with Kevin Connolly to play Mark Few. Rui Hachimura came to Gonzaga that he could recite every line from uh, Drake songs, but didn't speak English. <laughs> Hachimura really showed up on the national stage and, and really made people take notice of the ability that he has. He is piling up the points. Well, he's so mobile. Good through the course of the season. But they're not going to be able to do it by making individual plays. They're going to have to do it by playing five as uh, five as one on the offensive end. They got an interesting game. Mark Few. <laughs> Yeah, but that was Tim Kirchin who sent him that. <laughs> who sent that in, wasn't it? He'd have to work on his voice. <laughs> Offensive foul on Hachimura. I don't know. By episode three, if you'd be hoarse anyways, you wouldn't be able to hear him. <laughs> it, it, if we if we had some kind of a competition between coaches who go hoarse during a game, I mean, both few and smart, both of these coaches are one seats. After they cleaned up some things in overtime, played better in the last five minutes than they had in the preceding ten minutes, they pick up a big victory today, 76.